Got some Casamiga all up in my cup. Got some weed in my pocket. No, I'm about to roll it up. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comments. I got another video for you folks. This is going to be a local video right here once again. Another throwback video. But I got one question for the Baltimore people, man. And I remember this spot. If y'all came to Fells Point, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Look, I ain't going to lie. They had one of the best chick buffalo chicken wraps. I ain't gonna say the world, but it was pretty good, man. And I got one question for, for this uh for this place. What happened to the wolf rat? What happened? Like I used to have fun up in here. Like I, I didn't brought my friends up in here. Like I didn't brought many people that I never thought that would come to this bar. But this bar used to be fun, right? I ain't gonna lie. They had the pool table in the back. The air was one of the first bars I've been to. That was in Baltimore City. They had a little activity in the back. I lost a lot of games in pools. I don't want to talk about that. But anyway, uh, it was just fun. Like, I love I love coming to this bar. I used to always come to this bar and I get all work. This is the only bar that low keys to close like 2.30 and one day. Like, they, used to, they, used to, they used to be going all the hours, man. And uh, shout out to my man, uh, Cram. Ryan Cram, he watching this video, man. You know you. He used to work there. He used to always show me love in them, uh, on those raps, man. I'm telling you. And they were the only bar... The only bar that would cook in front of you, man. I'm like, man, ain't this ain't this about son of a gun? But um, um, I visited. That's my been to this place it was about uh two over two years ago. I think uh, my boy NFK came and got me. Shout out to uh, Mr. Good Sir as well. He came and got me one day. He was like, man, what you doing, man? I ain't doing nothing. This man pulled up. That's when we had the Mercury truck. So that was a little while ago. But anyway, he pulled up. He came and got me. Next thing you know, we went to the wharf rat. And, like, that's the last time I've been in there. I got me a nice orange crush and a strong bow and that chip buffalo chicken wrap. Mmm, that was so good. But it's how the inside looked. It wasn't too bad. Um, when you first walk in, they had, like, the first few tables. And I believe they had an upstairs. No, you couldn't go upstairs. So, unfortunately, they didn't have an upstairs. But it's one thing I noticed in the back of the bar. They have, like, a back area. So, they have, so you go all the way in the back. It's like, a, it's like another big section. In this case, you might want to rent a section or hall or anything. They ran up for a party and um they had like another so it was like two bars in one. I never seen two bars in one floor before. So yeah, it was just across each other. Um the bathroom's on the other side. Like you go on the other side, you make a right when you first walk in those doors right there. You see the bathroom right there on the side. And bathrooms was pretty awesome. It was pretty graffiti, filled with a lot of artistic, um, artistic uh poetry pictures, whatever. But I love how the bathrooms look. And also, uh, when you sit in the can, say like when you sit in the can or like when you like, I'm sorry, not sit in the can, say like when you're in the back playing pool, the caves were also like the, um, <laughs> the caves, like the chair, you put the, the, uh, the little soft pot, soft pot on the chair. But, uh, it, it was, I just had so many memories in here, man. There's so many memories in the wharf, right? Now, um, unfortunately the wharf right closed down. In late later year 2021, um, like I said, I tried to visit here one time, like just on a walk through. I'm trying to visit here, and next thing you know, they was closed. I'm like, what in the hell? I got it. Like, what in the hell? Why is this place closed so early? Closed down. I'm thinking it's closed, and come to find out, that joint was permanently closed. I'm like, oh my goodness. So Wolfrat has not been open for the last few years now. I mean, I hope they can make a comeback because uh, we need something, man. We need we need them buffalo chicken wraps again. So. Hopefully it can happen, but I doubt that Wolf Rat will come back because the owner just didn't want to just take it anymore. You know, he said, screw with it, the hell with it, I'm done. Because a lot of people, stop throwing this house or with all these restaurants. Y'all let these restaurants and bars go, go too soon. But anyway, we have a new guy that's going to take over, Mr. John. He's a former Baltimore chef. I think his name is John Chatlin. He's a former Baltimore, he's one of the best Baltimore chefs in the world. I got to check him out more. Um, he's will be taking over. He be he bought the franchise. Uh, this was upward for nine hundred nine hundred thousand dollars. This one he was a million dollar person. So the wolf right no longer a wolf right. It be like a chicken and champagne type of restaurant. We gonna see, man. We gonna see how this this spot gonna look. So it is what it is. I hope that they can make definitely. Re, I hope wolf right can rebranch themselves and go to another location because I don't want to see the spot uh, close down, man. But anyway. If you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. I'll probably be what happened to Woody's next because Woody's Tacos like Cantina, that was another good spice to work at. I'm like, man, they had some good ass fucking tacos, especially them dollar tacos. But uh, anyway, I'm out here, folks. Y'all have a blessed one. Y'all stay safe. 
Uh, stay focused. Y'all have a great, awesome weekend. I'll be back with more videos. What you see, I'm giving more radio, videos, content. I'm going to start giving y'all a lot more content I should be giving y'all, man. I need to start posting that post, man. If not forgetting how I got my my subscribers and my supporters, man. And I just appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. Thanks for y'all sticking with me and just rocking by my side, man. But anyway, I'm out here, folks. Peace and love to y'all. I'm out.